What's up everybody, Patrick from WP Builder Helper and in today's video we're talking oxygen. This just released, they just put out a statement and I think the statement's gonna have an impact on their builder moving forward. It's something that I've thought of for a long time. I had posted my original uh, comments back below. I'll link it up above somewhere or down below in the, the link to kind of tell you what I thought when he was going through it. And I want you to take a look at that, go through the Permaslug channel and see. And you'll see there's a lot of things he's backtracked on with it that kind of worries me about oxygen. But there's some good news to come out of this. And just hear me out and listen to me. I promise this won't be long. But let's take a look and let's dive in and analyze this and figure out what just happened. So let's dive into what's happened with oxygen. And if you're someone who's been maybe living under a rock and you didn't know, we're going to talk about what is going on with oxygen and breakdance. So about a year ago, maybe a little bit less depending, um, the developers of Oxygen, the key developer, which was Lewis, had mentioned that he had spent probably about three years developing Breakdance. Okay, And his reasoning for doing it was because Oxygen's pricing model didn't work. And essentially, the builder was... Uh, it just wasn't working the way he had planned. It didn't it didn't hit all the things that he wanted it to hit. And Breakdance was going to be that builder that was going to hit those things. First of all, Breakdance will never have a life, uh, lifetime license. He mentioned that. And Oxygen has always been a lifetime license. And he said that part of the problem was is that when he switched and tried to make it an annual license that it basically failed, which is all the truth. Like people bitched uncontrollably over the oxygen licensing and everything that was going on. And I think that the UI elements that they did, like some of the things they tried to do later on with WooCommerce and with all of that, they tried to make it something where they could take and like bundle everything and find a model that would work for them. And people kept saying back when this happened, well, why didn't you just... Why didn't you just do what Bricks does and just turn it into a model where you actually can just have a, 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 a subscription? Why not just do that and force everybody else, like, if, if they want to keep using it or whatever, either you can keep the people who are in on this lifetime, whatever, or they could switch to the subscription model. And so there were a lot of users who said that they would do it. Lewis, which I do believe is right, and I think he's true, said that that wasn't the case. He said the fact is people don't want a subscription. Um, they would much rather pay a lifetime license and just walk away. And I think that that's true. So anyway, he developed Breakdance, which is basically only a subscription. It's only ever going to be a subscription. And that is because he's figured out that if you just offer a lifetime deal, well, then you're screwed. You can never go back, essentially. But... That's not necessarily true, as we're going to find out with Bricks and certain other builders that are out there that offer both subscription and lifetime fees. It's just the way you price yourself in the market. So when we came to this, this is what was posted today. Your last chance to buy unlimited lifetime licenses to Oxygen, essentially. And I'm going to take and I'm going to uh, paraphrase this because I've already read over it. It goes into their idea of what the market was and whatever was happening, and it kind of gives you that background of what's going on with oxygen, why we chose to do it, what's going on with it. He says it's he says it's a uh, profitable product, but then when you take and you look at this, and you see the fact that there's money that's being dumped into breakdance. You kind of think to yourself, well, is it really that profitable? I mean, you've already said you couldn't make money with it and you weren't happy at where it was. And are you happy with where Breakdance is? So that's ultimately the question. But regardless of that, what this is going to do for the people who have lifetime licenses, this will not change a thing about what is happening. So the great news is you get to keep your lifetime license. You get to do everything that you were doing. 
for those people who are now uh, getting into oxygen, they are going to have to buy this license if they want it, a subscription. If they don't buy a subscription, you're not getting oxygen. Oxygen's not going to be lifetime anymore, which we said at the beginning. I'm not sure why that didn't just take place anyway. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm not sure why Breakdance wasn't branded oxygen like uh, 2.0 per se or oxygen 4.0 or whatever number they're on. And I don't know why Breakdance just wasn't called oxygen 4.0 and it wasn't backwards compatible. He said in the beginning that that was a problem because people who had done the backwards compatibility, there was issues with it. But I think as more developers start, we are starting to see a change in the market. We're starting to see people more accepting of developers and more understanding of developers when they have to change things. Divi, for instance, has said that their 4.0 release will not be backwards compatible. We're still waiting to see if that's the case. But I think Oxygen's finally catching on to, oh, this is our business. We can do whatever we want. And if it fails, then it fails. So the market, a.k.a. the users, have already shared some of their opinions. And when you take and you go on here and you look, you can see the sediment for the most part means that there's things that the market wants out of Oxygen. Like this user says, I hope... This means we'll get some updates out of the oxygen pipeline. 100%. I agreed with him 100%. Oxygen updates have been lacking. I'm also tired of seeing people complain about two-year-old tickets that have never been fixed. Uh, That has never been a good thing. He says that he looks at the market. That's never been the case. There have been tons and tons of complaints about things that, have, that are on the GitHub that have never been fixed, never been looked at. I do think it's a good thing, but like um, this guy is saying here, the damage has been done. A lot of people have already bounced to bricks, and that is true. And I think that's the problem with this. You see, it's in a weird place. The people who love oxygen love oxygen. The people who love breakdance love breakdance. If you really think about it, there's a good solid... Two to three things that can happen here. Either one, oxygen wins, breakdance loses. Two, breakdance wins, oxygen loses. Three, both of them continue to survive in some weird universe. Or four, one of them kills the other and the other takes over as the main builder of choice for this developer. And all of the money is dumped into that. When you have that type of mentality, I mean, think about it. It would be like Elementor creating a whole new page builder. They're not going to do that. They're just going to rebrand it a new Elementor number. So part of the problem with this is essentially you can only have one that is going to succeed. And it gets worse. As you keep going, this is the Maritech forms. You can see if anyone wants to see best practice of how to crash a product, check Oxygen. Now he really thinks he can go yearly after releasing Breakdance, a new builder no dance school. So, and and people are like saying like, what's going on? It's, it's weird. And part of the problem is, is one guy says down below, let's put it into perspective. It becomes slow and buggy. Then you complain to fix the bugs. Then they're buggy for three to four years. This is kind of what's happening with oxygen. Oxygen tried the yearly. It didn't work. It failed miserably because people didn't support it, which is funny because people came out in that thread and they said specifically on the Permaslug video that they would support if they went uh, subscription-based. Problem is, I think now after this point, you've burned the market. One of these builders has to fail. It has to. The great news is now the market gets to decide. People can finally take and pull out their wallets and they can decide which builder is right for them. Is it Oxygen or is it Breakdance? And the cool thing about it is he may keep both of them up. He may say, you know what, fuck it, we're going to keep both of them up and just let it roll and I will roll with whatever comes and we'll see. But I'm going to be honest with you. If you love Oxygen... This is like one of those things. This is going to be the hill that you die on if you fight for oxygen. This may be the end of oxygen. 
And if he sticks to what he says, he's going to give it to the community if it fails. But this may truly be the end of Oxygen. I don't know. No one's going to be able to tell which one is going to come out ahead of one another. But the taste that has been left from Breakdance is already putting a bad taste in the market. Keep in mind, I think this needed to be done. So I agree with the decision to do it. Finally, they the market will get to decide which one that they get to keep. And I think the one that's the winner will come out on top. And the one that's the loser is going straight to the bottom. And there's no other way around it. You're not going to keep funding a dead project that is not doing anything. The updates for uh, for Oxygen have slowed to a crawl. They're down to about three or four updates a year, three or four solid updates a year. And things are getting fixed, but it's not getting fixed at the breakneck speeds that you're seeing of other developers, even not at the breakneck speed of, of breakdance. And I get it. You've got more developers. You've got more money. So you get to do it quicker. 100%. I agree. But here's the thing. If you've got more developers and you've got more money, then what happens when this? Hopefully we see more developers and hopefully Oxygen takes off and it becomes the king out of Breakdance. And Breakdance just becomes things that get incorporated into Oxygen. But if that's not the case, then these two builders stay in a world essentially competing with one another by the same developer. Think of how weird that is. It's strange, to say the least. Think of Toyota. Toyota had Scion and Toyota. Which one is left alive? They've the Scion's gone. That's because it doesn't work. This isn't going to work. This is just a game, and unfortunately it's going to be a costly game because it may end up costing the end of one of these two products. I hope you guys have liked this. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Go ahead and share them with me down below, and I will see you guys next time.